In the rugged, misty landscapes of the Northern Isles during the Viking Age, there lived a fearsome warrior named Sigurd the Mighty. He was the second Earl of Orkney. Sigurd's rule was marked by the clashing of swords and the conquest of lands. He expanded his territory across the Northern Isles, seizing control of parts of the Scottish mainland. His name became a legend whispered in the halls of power as he engaged in brutal battles against Scottish chieftains, asserting the dominance of the Vikings in this new land. But Sigurd was not just a warrior, he was also a tactician. He strengthened his rule by forming alliances, most notably through his marriage to the daughter of a Scottish king. His reign was a tapestry of war, strategy, and the unyielding will of the Norse, yet it was his death that sealed his legacy in the annals of history. After a victorious battle, Sigurd decapitated his adversary, Male breeked, the bucktooth, and in a display of triumph, tied the severed head to his saddle. As he rode, the dead man's teeth grazed Sigurd's leg. This small scratch turned fatal as the wound festered, leading to the mighty Earl's downfall. Sigurd the Mighty, a name that conjured both fear and awe, met an end as dramatic as his life. A testament to the unpredictable and harsh world of the Viking Age, his story, a blend of power, ambition, and an extraordinary demise, continues to echo through time. A reminder of the sagas that once ruled these wild lands. Sigurd's story, wrapped in the mists of time, remains a beacon of the Viking era's rugged spirit. His life, a canvas of battles and conquests, paints a vivid picture of Norse bravery and ambition. The legend of Sigurd, etched in the annals of history, inspires tales of valor and the relentless pursuit of glory. A saga of a Viking, both mighty and mortal, forever sailing through the corridors of time. In the Viking Age, a hero emerged, Ragnar Lothbrok, a name etched in legend. His life was a saga of bravery, a tapestry of heroic deeds and daring exploits. Ragnar, a masterful warrior and explorer, ventured far and wide, from the shores of England to the coasts of France. With every raid, he etched his name deeper into the annals of history, feared and respected. His leadership inspired Vikings, leading them to numerous victories, their fame spreading like wildfire. Ragnar's life was also one of complexity, marked by strategic marriages, alliances, and family. His sons, born of these unions, grew to be legends themselves, warriors cast in their father's mold. But every saga, no matter how grand, approaches its twilight. Ragnar's end came when he dared to challenge King Ella of Northumbria, a formidable foe. Captured, Ragnar faced a fate befitting the sagas, tragic and extraordinary. Thrown into a pit of venomous snakes, his death Death was both a punishment and a testament to his impact. King Ella's choice, the snake pit, was not just revenge, but fear manifest. The fear of Ragnar's legacy. His death was not an end, but a catalyst for what was to come. It ignited a burning desire for vengeance in his sons, a fire that would engulf nations. They united, forging an army in their father's memory, their hearts set on avenging him. Thus, Ragnar's death marked the beginning of a new chapter in Viking history. His life, a blend of triumph and tragedy, became a source of endless inspiration. Ragnar Lothbra, a hero, a warrior, a legend, transcending the confines of his mortal life. His story, a testament to the indomitable Viking spirit, lives on. Echoing through time, Ragnar's saga continues to captivate and awe. A legend immortalized, his name forever synonymous with the Viking age. Ragnar Lothbra, a beacon of strength and ambition, his legacy eternal. In the turbulent Viking age, a figure of legend emerged. Olaf Tryggvason, born around 960 AD, descendant of King Harold Fairhair, his early life was scarred by slavery, forging a resilient warrior. Olaf's raids across the Baltic and British Isles were feared, yet a transformation awaited in England. His conversion to Christianity there marked a pivotal shift in his life and destiny. Returning to Norway, he claimed the throne in 995 AD, driven by ambition and divine faith. As king, Olaf fervently promoted Christianity, reshaping Norway's spiritual landscape. He often used force for conversions, leaving a lasting impact on Norwegian society. His legislative reforms wove Christian ethics into Norse law, transforming the nation. Olaf's reign extended through a 
alliances and marriages, linking Norway to England and Scotland. However, his fortune turned at the Battle of Svolder in 1000 AD. A coalition of enemies, including the kings of Denmark and Sweden, opposed him. In the climactic naval battle, Olaf's fleet was overwhelmed by the formidable coalition. Facing defeat and capture, Olaf chose a warrior's exit, shrouded in legend. Legends say he leapt into the sea, embracing the icy depths, disappearing forever. His body was never found, and his end remains enshrined in myth and mystery. Olaf Tryggvason's legacy endures beyond his warrior king persona. He is remembered as a pivotal figure in Norway's transition to Christianity, symbolizing an era where faith and sword reshaped the Norse world. His story, marked by conquest, faith, and a dramatic demise, captivates to this day. Olaf's impact on history, culture, and religion in Norway is undeniable. His life, a blend of heroism, faith, and power, reflects the Viking Age's complexities. Olaf Tryggvason, a name etched in legend, forever a part of Norse history. His saga, echoing through time, continues to inspire and awe. In the 10th century Norse world, Harold Bluetooth Gormson emerged as a unifying force. A descendant of kings, he ambitiously united Denmark's tribes, forging a kingdom. Harold's reign was transformative, not just in territory, but in faith. He turned from Norse paganism to Christianity, reshaping Scandinavia's spiritual landscape. This change was etched in the gelling stones, monumental rune stones declaring his conversion. Harold's influence extended beyond Denmark, establishing diplomatic ties across Europe. His ability to connect groups inspired the naming of modern Bluetooth technology. As his reign progressed, internal strife emerged emerged, leading to familial conflict. The end of his rule was marked by a rebellion led by his son, Swain Forkbeard. Around 986 AD, amidst turmoil, Harold met his mysterious demise. In a climactic turn, Harold met his end at the hands of his son, Swain Forkbeard, in a bitter familial coup. Harold Bluetooth's legacy lives on, a king who shaped the Nordic world. His story blends power, religious transformation, and family conflict, remaining a significant chapter in the annals of Viking history, a ruler remembered for his conquest, faith, and diplomatic prowess. Harold's legacy continues in Danish culture, history, and modern technology. His reign, a pivotal chapter in the Viking Age, shaped Scandinavia's future. From gelling stones to Bluetooth, his influence extends beyond his time. Harold's saga, encapsulating leadership, vision, and a dramatic end, echoing through time, a testament to his enduring impact. Harold Bluetooth Gormson, a name etched in Viking and world history, his reign forever a part of the rich tapestry of Norse legend.